I'm Michelle Mobley, Miss Utah, and you are watching The Party Zone. <laughs> Tom McGuire for the Party Zone, a hot new TV dance show to hit the area. Now I'm standing here in Ocean City, New Jersey. We're just minutes away from Lang City, New Jersey, which is over there. That's where the Miss America pageant takes place every year. Now what we have coming up today for you is we're going to show you clips of all the contestants in their interviews. We're going to show you a clip of the parade and we're going to go behind the scenes look at the press conference of the crowning of Miss Virginia, which is Miss America 1999. That's all next on the Party Zone. sitting here with Miss Florida 1999. How are you? Oh, I'm fantastic. Great. I'm actually very excited. Tonight's the parade. Yes, it is. Uh, can you tell, give us a rundown what brought you up to Miss America pageant? Well, I started doing uh, preliminaries about three years ago because I was studying musical theater and I wanted the performance opportunity and the scholarship was very attractive. Um, I only did two more after that at the University of Miami, which is where I go to school, and then I won Miss Miami, which is my fourth preliminary. I was first runner-up at Miss UM twice, and then I won Miss Miami. And I, this was my first time at the state pageant, Miss Florida, and I was totally not expecting to win because most of the time, the girls who do win are the girls who've been there before, who had been in the top five the previous years, or had been doing it for four or six years. And here I am, a newcomer, and no one's expecting this Cubanita from Miami to come and, you know, take take all the three preliminary awards, which is what I ended up doing, which is also uh, 
another first for Miss Florida. Um, no one had ever won all three preliminary awards in talent swimsuit and interview. So that was pretty exciting. Great accomplishment. Yeah, it was funny because the first night I won swimsuit and I said, you know, I better take advantage of this and get up on the stage and just have fun with it because this is probably the only thing I'll, I'll win. And then I ended up winning the pageant. So I still can't believe I'm here. I still can't believe I won swimsuit preliminary last night. I, I was totally shocked. I said, what? When they said my name. But, you know, I, I tell you are. Uh, yes, but because a lot of the girls here have worked so hard and prepared so much, and everyone has beautiful bodies, but I have worked hard. I have worked out, uh, rollerbladed, step aerobics, jogging, walking. You seem like you have a lot of energy. Oh, I do. I am the Energizer Bunny. That's what my friends call me. We will be at a nightclub. I will be dancing. They will say, let's go. It's 2 in the morning, and I'll be like, no, leave me here. I want to dance. So. so what are you saying in life right now? How old are you? I'm 22, and I attend the University of Miami. I've been there four years. I'm there uh, fully on scholarships, academic talent, and outside Hispanic scholarships and local scholarships. That and you've done some television work? I actually am working with a television station called Media One on a show called Miami Oi. It's a Spanish entertainment show, and I work as a freelance reporter, and it's more of an internship, but not many people get on-camera experience uh, with an internship, so I'm very fortunate, and I'm taking taking advantage of that to improve myself and my camera presence. I'll be honest, what do you think of Atlantic City? Atlantic City is awesome. It is. I love the boardwalk, I love the ocean. Obviously I'm from Miami, so I love the beaches and the sand. And the people, there's people from all parts of the world here. It's such a mixture of cultures. It's very similar to Miami in that sense. Have you gambled? Have I gambled? No. I passed by the casinos, but I'm not interested in that. One last question. Uh, for our viewers, what advice would you give them if, they, if girls wanted to enter a uh, beauty contest, maybe on a small level, not necessarily uh, the Miss America level? Um, if they plan to enter a pageant, they have to plan on being themselves because if they try and be someone they're not, that is going to show through. The judges will see that and there is no chance of them winning. They can't go in with the mindset of, oh, I have to win or I'm going to win or I deserve to win. They have to go in um, looking to have a great experience, to learn from that experience and to grow. I think I've grown a lot. I've become much stronger, more confident, and more articulate within this pageant system. So just briefly tell us how you, what your schedule's been like here in Lang City. Oh, it's I think I'm sure. Rehearsals, 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 break, rehearsals, 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 lots of rehearsals. But it's been exciting. I love being on the stage and just preparing for this big TV show. It's exciting. And then you went to Florida before this, right? All right. Um, well, you're from Florida, but Disney World. Yeah, we were at Disney for a while, and I saw um, Animal Kingdom, which I hadn't seen. I was on the Disney cruise ship, which is fantastic. And I went into Disney Plus, which I hadn't been to before. So we did things I hadn't done before. We have a lot of ambition, and I wish you well in the future. And thanks for joining us. Much. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Thank you. you too. Bye-bye. All right. How you doing, Sarge? Okay, folks, what'll it be? What would you like, sweetheart? A Pepsi, please. Sorry, we only have Coke. Now nah, you've done it. You're sorry? Not half as sorry as you're gonna be. I ordered a Pepsi, pal. She's got a mind of her own. What's with this guy? Look, I just thought... You thought? What you really thought was that I don't know the difference between Pepsi and a Coke, right? Here's your Pepsi. Thank you. Mmm. Kids say the darndest things. What are you looking at? I like this place. Hello, everybody. I'm Tom McGuire for the Party Zone. Be sure to check out our new time slot, 6.30 p.m. Sunday evening on WWAC TV 53 in South Jersey for the Party Zone, the hottest news dance show in the area. Be sure to join us on our all-day taping October 11th from the Metropolis Nightclub in Pensacola, New Jersey. That's all afternoon. We have a lot of surprises for you, one of them being behind the scenes of the Miss America pageant. Also joining us would be DJ Joel Furness spinning the hottest music in the area, along with host Rich DeFree. He's from the hottest radio station in Philadelphia also. That's on WWAC TV 53 Sunday evening at 6.30 p.m. You can't. Time is on. Time is on. Learn about an exciting career in modeling. Call now for your free Barbizon booklet and start on a new, more fabulous you today. Time is on. You can get the look, poise, and confidence of a Barbizon model. Call now to visit our school and agency and come in and receive a free gift. Take the first step. Call Barbizon today at 649-9700. Barbizon. 
Promenade is Ocean City's only outdoor eatery. Located 8th Street in the Boardwalk, the Promenade has every kind of food imaginable. Pizza, fries, the best funnel cakes on the Boardwalk, lemonade, cheesesteaks, hot dogs, and Mexican food. We even have pierogies, ribs, roasted chicken, breakfast, and the only pizzeria in the United States where you can make your own pizza. We even have laser tag. The fast, friendly service and quality food make your trip to the Boardwalk even more enjoyable. Meet your friends at the Promenade for the best food, fun, and fantasy you can have. All right, everybody, we're back on the party zone. I'm Tom McGuire. Now, let me just explain to you where we're at before we go back to more dancing. We're on the third floor of the Ocean One Mall here in Atlantic City, and we're at the parade of the Miss America 1999 pageant. We're about half a block from the convention center where the, the whole show takes place. Now, what I want to do now is show you exactly what goes on at the parade. Let's take a look. Miss America 1998, Kate Schindel. 1998 contestant, Miss Utah. 1998 contestant, Miss Texas. Miss Tennessee, 1999. And here we're looking at 1999 Miss America contestant, Miss South Carolina. Next we have Miss Rhode Island. And here in the white convertible, BMW, we're looking at 1999 Miss Pennsylvania. Okay, we're taking a look at Lovely in Town and Miss 1999 contestant, Miss New York. Our executive producer and Avalon Entertainment Incorporated's owner, Frank Swider's favorite. Here's my favorite, 1999 Miss America contestant, Miss Florida.
now we're sitting here with Miss Kentucky. How are you? I'm wonderful, thank you. Um, for our viewers watching, uh, basically they're, they're girls, 15 and 24, and if you can tell us basically what brought you up to this point and your stages you went through to come come here. Well, as far as competition goes, you know, there's a local competition. You have to compete on a local level in your area to be able to go on and compete in your state. And then if you win your state, which, I, you know, finally I did, had a chance to come to Miss America. But, but I think more than that, as a competitor, I think that it was a lot of perseverance because there were times certainly that I wanted to give up, not ever step foot on stage again because I wasn't a pageant girl and have probably never been nor will I ever be. I'm just regular Cheryl Lynn and I have wondered often if that was good enough but, but I think finally last night I got to be in front of a huge audience and I was just so pleased to finally be there but I wasn't nervous at all. How many years did this take? Um, I competed while I was in college. I just finished my undergraduate, so it was four years of competition. And it was a very good thing because I kind of came full circle in that time, too. I learned a lot about competition, and, and it was the first time I'd ever been in pageantry or involved in it before, and I learned a lot about the Miss America organization and, and that they were looking for the type of real person out there who was willing to take a risk and, and change with the times. And where do you stand in life right now? How old are you? I'm 21. I'll be 22 in October. You're going to school. I just finished my undergraduate degree and hopefully will go back and get my master's and my doctorate in clinical psychology. Um, standing pretty good right now. I'm excited to be here, but at the same time I realize this is great for Kentucky, for my state. I, you know, they're so proud of me. I can hear them at home right now. I'm sure they're yelling. I think they got it on the news last night. But... Give us a background of where you're from. I'm from a really small town. The name of it is London, Kentucky. It's population about 3,500. Um, I was raised farmland, a lot of farmland, tobacco people, teachers, a lot of families, and and that was just, you know, a part of who I who I am. You know, I was really lucky too because my community is really active in uh, civically as far as that goes. And so, uh, since I was a kid that had a good voice, I always got invited to come and sing and perform for everything, every charity that they were doing. So that that was really ingrained in me too. So it's really just been a part of me. So how how would you compare to Lang City? Uh, how would London compare to Atlantic City? Um, it would probably be like um, Kentucky Fried Chicken meets Hard Rock Cafe. I mean, it really is. It's very, it's upbeat, fast-paced, and it's, um, it's, it's really kind of glamorous here in Atlantic City. And the way they treat us and they, you know, they present the Miss America to the public, it is a very glamorous thing up until Saturday night, and then the real job starts. But it, but at home, it, you know. London is a place that never changes. You know, you see those rolling hills and that green valley, and you just feel like you're home. One final question. What advice would you give to girls out there watching that are your age and maybe want to pursue a pageant, maybe not on this level, but a smaller level? Miss America isn't about a crown, and I know a lot of people think that that might be true since what you see is basically a three-hour long televised broadcast on Saturday evening. What it's about is a job 365 days after that in which you have to be a channel for whatever whatever your passion is, whatever your issue is, and whatever your concerns are about facing this nation and things that you're involved in. You have to be willing to give, give up you know, basically your life for a year to have a job that will Im have a greater impact. And to do that, it takes a lot of a lot of heart, I think, and a lot a lot of determination. And, and I think you have to keep it in perspective because if you struggle to to win a crown, then you're really not winning. But but even as you sit here now, up to this point, uh, even myself, I, I can appreciate what you girls are doing other than just watching on TV. Mm -hmm. You know, I understand, and I know you guys are intelligent, and you guys you have careers, and you're focused. And from from, a, from my perspective, I, I've gained a lot being here. Oh, well, thank you. I really appreciate it. You know, I look back, and I paid about $250 for my college education, and Miss Kentucky picked up the rest of the bill. So I think that if you use the system to your advantage, and if you keep a steady focus, if you just... You know, if if you just don't let things go too far, if you just take it easy and and, and kind of remain true to to what you know is best for you and to who you are, then you're going to be fine. That's important. Yeah, it's very important to, to anybody, not just somebody seeking title of Miss America. Yeah, it's really important. Well, thanks for joining us, and uh, good luck in the future. I appreciate it. Thank you.
on G-Double. Come be a part of the Friday night party here at Metropolis Nightclub. Um, right here on Route 73, Pensalking, New Jersey. Call 609-663-2200 for directions. Metropolis, baby. Ain't nothing like it. Yeah, I was Storm. Introducing Storm, a whole new kind of lemon lime. for the party zone. We're here at Convention Hall in Lang City, where we're getting ready to have a press conference for Miss America 1999, Miss Virginia. Stay tuned, it's coming up next. Be real! I can't believe it! <laughs> Look at that little girl right there. I was 19 when I found out I had diabetes. I was a sophomore in college, and it was a shock I became very, very ill, and I've been told that it was a result of a virus that I had caught. So I do have type 1 diabetes, which is insulin-dependent diabetes, and also known as juvenile diabetes.
sorry, can you because of this issue and because of the vehicle that it is for change, I will be a catalyst for change throughout the nation, if not already. Uh, it's just an enormous opportunity, an opportunity that you can't get anywhere else. And then secondly, I needed scholarship money. And since this is the number one scholarship provider for women in the world, it was the perfect way to, for me to finance my master's degree and pay off my college loans. Were you able to make contact with your parents? Well, I was waving to them and they were jumping up and down and screaming and blowing kisses, so that's about it so far. How long did it take you to get to the How many uh, I can't give you an exact number, but it's been five years. I've been to the state level five times and it's been a long road. I've had to mature, I've had to learn who I am and what I want to become inside. I had to learn what was in my heart so that I could communicate that with others. And then I also had to learn how to accept myself and this issue that I represent. Do you have a boyfriend? No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't have time. This was hectic getting ready for this. <laughs> How you doing, Sarge? Okay, folks, what'll it be? What would you like, sweetheart? A Pepsi, please. Sorry, we only have Coke. Now nah, you've done it. You're sorry? Not half as sorry as you're gonna be. I ordered a Pepsi, pal. She's got a mind of her own. What's with this guy? Look, I just thought... You thought? What you really thought was that I don't know the difference between Pepsi and a Coke, right? Here's your Pepsi. Thank you. Mmm. Kids say the darndest things. What are you looking at? I like this place. Everybody, we're back, and I'd like to give a special thanks out to you, the viewer, for watching our show, and our sponsors, Pepsi, along with the new Storm Soft Drink, the Hard Rack Cafe of Lang City, Barber's On School Modeling in Philadelphia, Club Metropolis in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Porter Bell's Pizza in Ocean City, and to everyone who helped out in the Miss America pageant, and everybody behind the scenes, and we appreciate that. Stay tuned for another episode of The Party Zone. I'm Tom McGuire. Take care. Thank you.